Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the crossed sword. So you might have had a breakdown of communication with somebody. You might be even butting heads with somebody uh, that you're working with. So, uh, you know, there looks like there's some kind of breakdown of communication over here. Uh, or you also might be making some kind of, le of, deci of decision. Um, there could be a legal decision that is pending as well. Um, because swords usually talks about legalities. So you might be waiting for a decision to come in uh, with regards to money or work. Now, whatever comes in, whatever the answer to that particular question is, it's going to be, uh, you know, very positive because you've got the wine card of here and this is about celebration it's about uh, you know it's about meeting people and it's about um uh, you know like i said celebrating a good outcome so it's going to be a positive outcome whatever that decision is uh whatever you're dealing with whoever you're uh, facing even there's going to be something that pos positive that comes out of it you've got the cat's card over here so this is um you need to follow your intuition and you need to act very independently in anything that you do so don't listen to any other you know anybody's opinions about things uh you need to um follow your own intuition as uh, as far as anything that you do now you've got the book over here and this looks like there you may have been uh you know uh, doing a lot of study recently um you know in the recent past and learning a lot of um new facts new information a lot of secrets also um, may have come to light for you and um, the park card shows that you've been dealing with large groups of people maybe going to conventions or going to some kind of seminar where you've been meeting a lot of people so you have been uh, you know out there collaborating socializing uh, with a lot of people with regards to your work the tree card is talking about laying good foundations this is also you know if you had problems with your health you're recovering from any health issues that you may have had but you're laying down some strong foundations and whatever you're doing is starting to grow and this is the ring card which is showing that you might be signing new contracts soon so something new coming in maybe a new business proposal maybe a new job coming in where you sign business contracts so just make sure that you're reading all the fine print very very carefully so those are the energies for those two weeks and this is the celtic dragon tarot and i'm just going to use that for the main read Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So you have been doing a lot of study recently. Uh, you know, you might be specializing in what you're doing. You might even be taking on that role of being a teacher where you are mentoring a lot of people. But you're definitely learning a lot and you're also giving out a lot of information to people. And like I said, specializing. So a lot of time being spent with information or learning a lot of information as well. So what's happening with you? You've got the Strength card. You're having, you know, whatever difficulties you are facing... You're actually sweet-talking your way out of it. So you are um, overcoming any kind of problems or any kind of problem people. And you're getting by, uh, you know, just by your sheer personality. So you are actually um, sorting these people out and, you know, um, almost treating them like they're kitty cats. So you are sorting them out. Now, there's some kind of choice that you are going to be facing very soon, whether to stay or whether to go or what to do next. So you are being faced with a big decision coming up soon uh, and you'll have to think about it and make, make sure you do your research very carefully. So in the past, you've got the Three of Swords. So you were dealing with very, very difficult people. Uh, you know, maybe a lot of competition. Uh, sometimes with the, you know, with the Three of Swords, there's always difficulties in communicating with these people. Uh, maybe they cut you out of a group. Uh, so you were, have been uh, maybe keeping to yourself a lot. And, you know, this has caused a lot of hurt and distress on your side. And you're getting over this now. So maybe something happened. There was some kind of crisis in uh, where you work. And you've had to deal with, uh, with these people. So uh, in the past few months, you know, you're almost stuck between a rock and a hard place. So maybe you're in between jobs right now or you could well be in a job, but everything seems to be stuck. Uh, you know, you don't seem to be moving and, uh, you know, you've got dragons on either side over here. So you're, div you know, you're dealing with a difficult circumstance. You're dealing with people uh, that are not supportive and, you know, they are pressurizing you and, uh, you know, they're, they're just, um, it's just a altogether difficult situation. You can see these dragons sitting on the rocks over here. So you have a lot of obstacles as well that you're, 
are facing. So quite a difficult circumstance that you're dealing with at the moment. You've got the Four of Swords over here, so pretty stressed out from all the, the work that you've been doing. And maybe you've been thinking about taking a little bit of a holiday. You might also be, uh, you know, recovering from some kind of stress-related illness as well you know, ulcers or, uh, you know, not getting enough sleep as well, that could be the case. So you might need a bit of a break, a little bit of a holiday. So going into the future, you've got the Four of Pentacles over here. So you are watching your finances very, very carefully. You're keeping an eye on it and you're making sure that you don't overspend. You're also, you know, trying to set down strong foundations because Fours are about setting down foundations and you are trying to set out good a good money foundation um, and you're trying to hang on to finances, watching every single penny um, as you go. You've got the Five of Cups, so you've had some kind of loss in the past. There's been some kind of crisis in your life, and you are trying to get over it. You're trying to deal with it. You're still dwelling on it a little bit, crying over things that had happened or the loss that you underwent. Maybe a lot of regret, uh, you know, going through that past. And it's bringing in a little bit of depression because you've got the moon in the back background over here and a little bit of clouds over there. Uh, so, you know, maybe these thoughts are whirling around your head. You've got these dragons all around over here, these little dragons, uh, you know, little thoughts um, going through your head where you're still thinking about the past and the loss that you have faced. And, you know, that is causing a little bit, a little bit of depression. So you need to get out of that energy. Now, going on around you, there's a tower. Now, this is not your tower. If it had been your tower, it would have been in this position, but it is the going on around you so there's some kind of dramatic change of events that is coming in the surroundings maybe with the people that you're working with something happening that is causing a bit of upheaval uh and uh, this might be uh you know due to energies of usually when there's the hangman around uh you know where the energy is stuck the tower comes in to shift that energy so there might be some kind of news that comes in that is pretty shocking you didn't expect it it might not affect you directly but it definitely has an impact because maybe uh, you know, there's some kind of involvement that you have with it. It might not have a direct impact on you, but definitely the news of it or hearing about this news does cause, stir up, um, you know, um, a lot of, um, shall I say, smoke. So, you know, something coming in with this uh, Tower card, uh, a revelation um, or maybe some kind of dramatic event uh, that stirs things up as well and shifts you out of this hangman or stuck energy. It spurs you on to make a decision because you are facing a decision over here with this uh, lover's card. So something that the tower brings that's going to make you uh, make a decision in order to just leave this uh, energy behind, leave the energy of the hangman behind. So something is coming in, some news is coming in, it seems. You've got the pen of King of Pentacles over here, so you are trying to achieve something great. You are trying to achieve, you know, you're trying um, to accumulate wealth and money, and you're hoping to get, if you're working, uh, you're hoping to get some kind of promotion into maybe a leadership position or into some sort of stability that will generate sufficient finances for you. So going into the future, you've got the World Card, the Sun, and the Page of Pentacles. So whatever this information is coming in from the tower, it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be something that is going to destroy you. Because, you know, if you look at the cards that follow over here, you end cycles, end old energies, end difficult relationships with people. Because, you know, the world card is about Saturn, and Saturn is always the difficult teacher in the zodiac. Um, so, you know, ending difficult uh, um, uh, relationships with people, really. Uh, and also with Saturn, you know, it tends to be um, a restrictive planet, uh, something that um, keeps you locked up, um, you know, keeps you in chains. Now, with the World Card, it looks like that cycle is ending. All that drudgery, all that hard work, you are now reaching the phase of completion. Uh, you know, you're coming to terms with whatever happened. You're getting closure on the situation. And whatever you've learned, you're taking it out into the world. You're teaching the world from what you've learned. And it's something that, uh, you know, you are uniquely gifted to do. Um, it, there's something that you're going to be giving back. And you're going to leave behind all the, the negative energies, all the toxic energies behind. So that is what the world signifies and after all that hard work and all the drama the sun card comes in and it says you will be successful so a lot of new energy coming in so it's almost like you're a phoenix rising from the ashes as well so that is coming in with the sun card and then finally you've got the page of a 
page of pentacles over here so this is about new learning this is also about taking whatever new ideas you have uh, with that ace of pentacles and with the page of pentacles news coming in about money but also being able to employ those new ideas to produce money and it looks like there's somebody over there that will give you some kind of financial guidance or financial assistance you've got a little kitty over here which means that you need to follow your instincts um you know uh Taurus is uh, about money and you do have great instincts with money so you need to follow those instincts as well. So you might be getting to some further study, further education or learning how to actually manage your finances and getting some advice as well with that. So you are hanging to, uh, you are being very cautious as far as money goes, but it looks like there is some kind of shift in energy coming to take you out of that position of being the hangman, which you've been sitting in for the last few months. And it looks like it's going to bring big changes or make you make big moves. Uh, it's going to, uh, you know, um, spur you on to change your attitudes about things. And you can see you've got the five of summer over here, which is, has, um, Trust that there is a reason that everything happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others and focusing on that which frightens or worries you. So you need to get rid of all those fears and doubts and you need to go for it. Um, and it seems like, you know, the universe is saying things happen for a reason. So maybe this is the reason why the tower is coming in. You've got the 10 of autumn over here. So take steps to uh, ensure finance security financial security of your children or loved ones make wise investments or planning uh, for retirement honoring family traditions now with the ten of autumn it's actually the ten of pentacles which is you know you could be getting an inheritance some money is coming in there is some kind of payoff that is coming in and it's also a diff an end of um if you were financially linked to somebody, if you had shared finances, that uh, particular scenario comes to an end. So severing financial ties with people, uh, maybe getting an inheritance or even ending an old job, but also getting a payoff from it and moving on. So that cycle of hard work or financial problems coming to an end. And then the Wheel of Fortune comes in. So the Wheel of Fortune, you've got that spinning wheel over there, uh, which is talking about work. And it says delays are over, sudden and unexpected good luck, a new um, car or travel. So, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, things turning in your favor or things changing, definitely changing. Um, and it's got to do with work and finance. And if you're going through problems where things were stuck, it looks like the Wheel of Fortune coming in to unstick you from that position. And the tower making doubly sure that you don't go back into being stuck in that position. Because you can see this man's hanging upside down. He's making sacrifices, um, you know, um, and he's not getting any benefits from it. And there still, still seems to be pressure from both sides. You know, you've got both sides uh, filled with dragons. So it's trying to get you out of that position into a forward movement and the Wheel of Fortune coming to push you into that forward movement as well. So it looks like maybe there's an end of, uh, to difficult financial situations and it looks like there might be some kind of payoff that is coming. Maybe you're waiting for uh, some kind of payoff to come out. So try not to be negative about it. Try to be positive. Think positively. Manifest positively. And, uh, you know, things will start moving your way. There is going to be a success and achievement because the sun card is coming in and that is a very positive card. It brings in positive change. Uh, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now.